in high definition. This is KCAL 9 News at 8. Welcome back to KCAL 9 News at 8. I'm Serene Branson. And I'm Rick Garcia. Tense moments required quick decisions in San Francisco this weekend as police agencies from around the world faced a potentially deadly crisis. However, no one was ever in any danger. KCAL 9's Christian Kasten explains it was all an exercise called Urban Shield to get officers ready for a crisis they hope will never happen. The suspect's demand is for Javier Mendez, Manuel Aguilar, and Luis Soto to be released immediately. Outside San Francisco's City Hall, an FBI SWAT team was briefed. Members of a violent street gang had broken in and taken over the fourth floor. This was one of the 34 scenarios of the Urban Shield tactical exercise. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office set up Urban Shield this weekend to train law enforcement, fire, and bomb squads from across the country and around the world. We're going to put them through uh, some very realistic scenarios, and hopefully, uh, if and when that time comes, and hopefully that never happens, but if it does, then the teams will be prepared. Crews have just a few minutes to formulate a plan. We'll uh, breach, enter, secure the objective, consolidate subjects and hostages in their respective locations. Then they have to put that plan into action. Inside City Hall, SWAT team members have to decide whom to trust and whom to arrest or shoot. Their every step monitored by video and evaluated. The FBI says this kind of real-world training is invaluable. In Alameda uh, County Sheriff's Department throws on this great thing for us. Um, I mean, we can use City Hall, we can use Transamerica Building, uh, just a lot of different locations where, where we can really visualize what, what a possible scenario might be. Across town on the 44th floor of the Transamerica Building, SWAT teams were confronted with a gunman and a hostage situation. Crews had to rappel down an access shaft, eliminate the gunman, and rescue the hostages. Organizers say the simulations cost about a million dollars, paid for by federal grants and private donations. But the experience for the officers is invaluable. When uh, the Columbine incident happened, many of the officers that went in there had never been in the high school before. So we try to put people in situations that they're unfamiliar with, that they have to make critical decisions and look at the layout of the land and, and make those decisions and make it correctly. That was Christian Kasten reporting.